So what about Callie Mayer? Was she on your radar at this point? Of course. She was making big waves in F2. And Ackerman would not shut up about her. Here's our race leader, Callie Mayer. She has been blisteringly fast around Zandvoort here today. And look at that! She's going into pit! Interesting strategy they've decided on there. She has been lapping at rapid pace, but is this the right call? Yeah, it's a bold move for sure. Looks crazy to me, but let's find out. Here she goes then on brand new tyres. The rest of the field still sticking with their original set. Where exactly does Cali Mayer come out? Let's see. Cali, what do you put your success down to this season? Oh, I'd say probably my speed. In what way? I find lapping faster than everyone else really, really helps. Casper, <laughs> Casper. No, no, no. Seriously, though, I have a great team around me, and this guy, more than anyone else, has been pretty useful to have around. Gasper, <laughs> what are you shy? Come up here. Yes, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. And Callie says you've been a factor this season, Casper. I'm not the one driving. Didn't agree with my tyre strategy, though. <laughs> this one has no respect for her elders. <laughs> but can you give us more detail as to the exact role that you're playing, Casper? None whatsoever. It's all about her. He's probably right, to be fair. So, were you already in touch with Casper Ackerman at that point? <laughs> Ackerman and I go way back. Another pit stop here at Suzuka. This time it's Aidan Jackson coming in. He's been making steady progress today and Connor Sport need him to. They desperately need some results and they could do without this And Look, there's chaos in that garage. Absolutely, only three wheels on the car at the moment, Crofty. Aidan Jackson looks on in despair. Here comes that spare wheel now. That's a long, long time to wait. Just sat in the cockpit. What is going on down at Connor Sport? Well, the tyre is finally out of the garage and on the car, and Aidan Jackson's back out in the race, but it's a long time in the pit, and that will cost them dearly. You saw it, right? The pit stop? How am I supposed to deal with that? I know, I want a chance to prove what I can do, though. In a top-tier seat, I, I deserve it. I've heard there might be interest. I just, I can't stay here. Okay, well, what would you do? So, what advice did you give him? Well, I told him to try to stay calm, see out the season, and then go to the final team meeting. See if that changed his mind. And where were you at this point? Oh, I was uh, busy getting Cali ready for the final race of the F2 season. The final race of the season, now well underway here in Abu Dhabi. A few different drivers in contention for the F2 Championship. But here's the favourite, Callie Mayer. She's been so consistent this season, so fast. My money's on Mayer for the championship, no question. If she can finish high enough, the title belongs to her. She's done it, as many predicted she would. A star is born. Callie Mayer becomes the first woman ever to win the F2 Championship. Historic. <laughs> well, I mean, someone had to be the first. But I just hope that this shows that talent can get you as far as money. And what about your dad? Has he called to congratulate you yet, Callie? Nope. Next question. Hey, Callie, Callie, what's it like being a woman in motorsports? We're sure everyone wants to know. <sighs> I don't know, John. What's it like being a man in journalism? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Hot-headed. <laughs> yes, for sure, for sure. But you know, that's, that's kind of what you need in a driver. Let's not forget that Cali taking the championship was a big deal. 
you know, for, well, for the sport, but really for everyone. And for you, how did you feel? It was one of the proudest moments of my career. It was the first time I mentored anyone. Yeah. I was a little sad to be moving on. So, had you already told Kelly about your new job? Yes, yes, of course. And I told her, you know, how I wished that I could take her with me. But she understood. And Aidan, had you told him? No. No, he was, um, he was too busy. Busy? Yeah, preparing to tell the team that he was leaving Connorsport. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming. I know Aiden had something he wanted to say, but first I have a matter I would like to address formally. It is no secret that I have been spread a little thin <laughs> this season. I mean, I own the team, I run the team. It's, it's a lot, okay? Which is why I will be stepping away from the principal role next season. I'll still be pushing Connor Sport Racing to be the brand we know it can be whilst the new principal will be laser-focused on performance and results. And we have already found a man to step into that role. Kasper. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Now, this is a big step up for me. I'm really looking forward to see what next season brings. It's truly an honor to be on board. I am sorry for the dramatic nature of the announcement, okay? Humor the man who pays you. <laughs> we all look forward to working with Casper, yes? Good. Then let us continue. Aiden, you had something you wanted to say? The floor is yours. Uh, no, it's, it's nothing. I just wanted to say... <clears throat> Um, thank you, everybody, for all your hard work this year. And I'm really looking forward to next season, especially with Casper at the helm. <laughs> Did Casper being around affect you going into the 23 season? I have bigger things going on than Casper. Do you have any regrets about 2023? Anything you'd have done differently? No. No, I'm in a good place now. Besides, what's to uh, regret about being the story of the season? Great race out there today. Just in the highlights. Listen, I know we've had our run-ins and, well, last season was last season. Fresh start for the team. What do you say? Oh, Jackson. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Bin's over there. Yeah. Nice one. How about the season just gone? The 2023 season was completely different for Connor Sport. How so? But uh, the car, for one. We'd ironed out the most critical issues and it was just starting to live up to its potential. Can we talk about what happened with Devon? <sighs> here comes Butler, good pace here down the straight. Into the corner we go. That's a little too late. And he nearly goes off the track on the exit. And is that a lapse in concentration? I think just a little bit of desperate driving there, Crofty. He's pushing way too hard. I mean, there's nobody else around him at this stage. OK, Devon, we're going to have to ease off from the brakes. Brakes don't feel right. OK, we'll have a look at it, but you're going to see a drop off in performance, I'm afraid. What? Why? We've asked you to take it easy on the last lap, but pushing has made the issue even worse. So we're just going to have to live with it for now. What are you talking about? Listen, just do what you can, please, Devon. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 